So we're just taking a look at the Nokia N900. Uh, just press the power button on the top and then swipe to unlock the device. This is the home page and uh, you've actually got four different home screens that you can uh, utilize. Put your own shortcuts, widgets on, that sort of stuff. You can see here I've got my contacts, conversations, uh, web browser, Firefox, uh, weather, media player, calendar, all that kind of thing. To get to your applications, just click on the top left and then click the more button um, to get to the apps you've installed. Uh, you already have stuff like your Excel, Words, PowerPoint, uh, PDF viewer, that kind of thing. First thing we'll take a look at though is the Super Nintendo emulator, which uh, get, got uh, Nokia in a bit of trouble. Obviously, if you're going to use this, you're meant to have the original cartridges for the games that you're playing. But uh, you can get them in second-hand stores now pretty cheap. Uh, this is Super Mario World, which I'm not very good at, but it will just give you an idea of how well this runs. I mean, you've got a good frame rate on here, uh, the sound's all there as well, and it's all good fun. Um, so here's the little guy. You can actually get, use a Wii remote to control this game as well. And uh, if you connect it by the TV out cable, you can actually watch it on your TV and then use the Wii remote control. There you go, I've died for the first time. So we'll just uh, we'll pop across just the other side just quickly and see if I can do any better over this side of the island. Um, you can hear all the sound there as well. So you can play like Mario Kart, uh, Zelda, any uh, any games that you've got the cartridges for. Let's just quit out of that because I'm not very good. There's the multitasking screen there. So once you've clicked the top left, you can uh, run multiple applications at the same time. Uh, up to about 24, 26 applications. So you could have web browsers, conversations, games, video, everything run at the same time. This is another game. This comes with the phone itself. Nokia have uh, commissioned a company called Rovio to make this. This is a game called Bounce. And you've got to control this little ball dude using the accelerometer. So you actually move the phone and that controls the ball. Um, now the 3D graphics in this are excellent. This is actually, the screen resolution here is about twice as high as the iPhone. And they've got very similar hardware, similar kind of graphics chips and so on. You're meant to be collecting these little apples. Um, but I'm just going to do this quickly. Um, you make him jump by kind of uh, shaking the phone a little bit. This is the bridge here. Now you, this uh, part of the game takes about 20 attempts to get right. But once you've done it and you get over the bridge, it's all good. You can see the graphics here are very, very impressive. You've got reflections in the water. Um, there's shadows. Uh, it looks like bump mapping on the ground. So it looks as though it's quite kind of rough. The grass is rough and stuff. Um, you've got the very clever use of colors. There's very vibrant colors as well. Uh, one game I'm going to show you in a little bit is probably one of the most exciting which is uh, Quake 3. I'll just jump them over this bridge here. So already the community has been working on uh, porting a lot of games over um, to the N900 and uh, there's quite a few more games going to be coming as well. There's a little windmill. Just going to get him past this and get the little ball guy home. That's a good fun game. It's not bad for a freebie really. Just kind of shows off the capabilities of the device. So there we go. Four apples out of 14. That's that's crap. Uh, never mind. Let's go and have a look at Quake. Uh, this is uh, called Open Arena, which is um, it's the Quake 3 engine. Uh, if you've played Open Arena on the PC, it's exactly the same thing. Unbelievably, you can actually play death matches over a 3G network uh, when you're sitting on a train. Although it's, um, it's not recommended because it will kill your battery life. And, uh, well, that's not surprising, really. You're running full 3D on 800 by 480 on a device that fits in your pocket. Now this is in the development stages at the moment, so they do recommend that you don't install this unless you expect to have problems. Although having said that, I haven't had any trouble with it whatsoever um, on this phone. Um, so it's just loading in. And you can control it either by using the accelerometer or you can use the keyboard. Uh, I kind of find the accelerometer a bit fiddly, so I just use the keyboard to control it instead. Uh, you can also use Bluetooth devices. Oh, he's killed me, the little... So I'll go and find him and shoot him up. It's got automatic aiming um, on it at the moment, so it automatically aims on the closest enemy. And obviously you can, uh, you can connect this to your TV and you can run it through your TV out because the N900 puts everything through the TV out, absolutely everything. So it's... Um, Again, it's pretty clever. It's like having kind of a mini console. And you can see the frame rate at the top right there. 
getting up to kind of 60 frames a second in some places. Um, it's really impressive. Really impressive. So again, as more and more of these games start to come out, you start to see uh, even better 3D effects starting to come on through. And you can see they already you've got some pretty nice graphics. I mean, it's nearly on a par with kind of a PSP, um, some of the graphics that are going on. In fact, it's actually higher resolution than a, than a PlayStation Portable. And you can use all the mods that you can use on the PC version of this game as well. So you've got kind of like um, space level Simpsons versions of the game. Uh, loads of different mods that you can use to play. And obviously playing it as a deathmatch, playing it against other people all around the world is, uh, is quite fun as well. So that's excellent. So we'll just play this for a little bit longer. And then quit out. Pop down to exit game. Now, it's going to have a look at the Contacts book now, because the Contacts are equally impressive uh, on the N900 already. And this is the first firmware of the device. So we click here, have a look at our Contacts. Um, you can actually pull down all of the Facebook images from Facebook to your Contacts, so you don't have to arse about putting in your own images. Here you can see you've got um, integrated into the phone book. You can call with Skype. Uh, you can use AOL Instant Messenger, Google Talk, MSN everything directly from the contacts book uh, and if you want to you can leave your phone logged into MSN AOL and it'll instantly put those messages up so we're just popping into the web browser here and um, this is the web browser that comes built in with the N900 um, you can download Firefox as well but that's currently in beta stage um, so I prefer using the one that's built in uh, this is the BBC News website um, now the N900 can run full flash uh, you can see here the novel way of zooming in and zooming out. You kind of twist your finger around uh, in a circular motion to zoom in, and you twist it backwards to zoom out. Now this is running over a 3G connection. Now one thing about uh, the web browser is it's extremely high resolution. Um, so that's where the stylus can come in handy. I just pop the stylus out the holder on the bottom of the phone. And this is full flash video over the internet running on a 3G connection. Uh, the resolution's pretty high here, and uh, you've got a full sound as well, of course. So the upshot of this means that you can run YouTube videos, Flash-based websites, absolutely everything. It's running um, Flash 9 at the moment. It's said to be upgraded to Flash 10 in January next year. And if you love running your Flash games, uh, if you like playing the game Farmville, for example, on Facebook, then you can play that as well if you want to. Uh, this is the media player here. Um, you can run uh, music, video, internet, radio. You can connect to your uh, laptop or your home network to run video and audio off there as well. So this is a little bit of a video clip that I've downloaded off um, YouTube's high definition clip. This is running 800 by 480. Just buffers a little bit at the start of playing that video, I've noticed. Hopefully that's something they'll fix in later firmwares. But after that, it's as uh, smooth as you like. And uh, so overall, this is um, a real beast of a phone. And... Um, I think when Nokia start to bring out those firmware updates and uh, so on, it'll get uh, even better. Just going to very quickly show you something quite cool in the photo app. Once you've taken a photograph, you can actually automatically geotag the photo. So the phone will automatically work out where you are and save it into the file itself. You can see here that's um, in London and you can click a few tags on there as well. And upload directly, of course, to Facebook or Flickr or Picasso or any of your photo sharing websites. Now, there's so much more this device can actually do, but I've actually run out of time. So if there's anything in particular uh, you'd like to see on the N900, just uh, give us an email, um, www.derekgibbons.com, and uh, click the contact button.